are starting the show, we are clicking the button, we are beginning, yes, oh yes guys, oh yes, 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 welcome to another episode. This is what I see VCs speak about, this is what I see the uh, private groups speak about a lot. This is blockchains without gas, okay? But what if you have no gas? Okay, think about that for a second. And of course, you're wondering, like, how can you have no gas? You're going to have bots and you're going to have uh, spam. You need to have gas and fees so that the blockchain is not spammed. And that's fair. But when you think about internet, when you think about using websites, when you think about using any web application, you don't pay. There is no gas fee. There is still infrastructure cost. When you watch this video on YouTube, there is a cost to that. You don't pay it. When you sign up for a service, you don't have to pay gas fee like to save your email. But if you want to save anything on the blockchain, you want to change the state of the blockchain in any way, you have to pay a fee on all blockchains today. So the way that internet solves it is by having the devs pay for it. You are a dev, you have your server, you pay for it. And then it's up to you to figure out different ways to remove spam. So on the internet, you have rate limit. When it comes to the internet, you have this kind of approach and this new types of blockchain, like for example, Sakuro is doing the same thing. It's free to use Web3 with the whole model being that developers put in place different uh, restrictions on what kind of usage is allowed and not allowed just like on the internet. So basically sick and tired of expensive gas fee, wait till you hear you might not need, wait until you hear you might not need to anymore. Need to pay any more. Yes. One gas and blockchain is positioned to dominate and it is uh, Sakura. It is Sakura. The most popular blockchains require users to own native coins to pay for transactions. However, the nature of these fees can lead to high costs. You want to send the coin, you pay 20 bucks. Or even if, if you pay not that much, let's say you pay just uh, a few cents, it's still that you need to get the coin. Like you need to get the asset. You need to do KYC to get it. Let's say you want to start using Solana today. It's super cheap fee. Base is also super cheap fee. How do you get the gas token? You need to do KYC. Into your, your passport basically is required to use the blockchain. You cannot use it otherwise. So it's a big problem. If we can remove the ID self, you know, you smile with your passport for the KYC so you get the gas coin. It's massive. And Sakura eliminates transaction fees from user experience by making bridging from Web 2 to Web 3 most cost effective by providing a two layer solution. You have the infra layer and then you have the developer layer. Both layers are operate on public permission blockchain. The gas fee L2 is going to be massive. I think it's going to be massive. Follow Sakuro because I think it's going to be super interesting how they deliver it.